apply moisturizer on your skin then that is your skincare routine what do you guys do for your skincare routine oh do you guys do like those masks and stuff my mom forces me into those when i'm at home but i can't i just I, it's not me man it's not me yeah i don't know so yeah masks just aren't my thing hi 오늘 어 저는 일찍 켰어요. 맨날 새벽이면 켜서 다른 분들이 못 보는 것 같아서. 예. <웃음> 네. Yo, you know what I did used to do though when I first came to Korea? I was like, oh man, I won't be on TV. I gotta be so concerned with my skin. I have to look perfect. And then I used to do like these uh nose strip things. To like take off the blackheads on your nose, and I did it like hella, and I didn't know how to use it, so I just did it like every day, and then like I used boxes for like months, and then someone was like, you know, you're you're only supposed to do that like, like once in a while, right? And I was like, oh, yeah, that happened. Yeah. Um, I like your skin. Me too. I have I have allergic reactions though, so I don't know if you'd like that. Yeah, allergic reactions aren't fun. They never work, dude. Mine used to work amazing. 더 보고 싶은데 알바가 해. 오 분이라도 봐서 좋겠다. 즐거웠어요. 화이팅 화이팅. New eye bangs routine. What's eye bangs routine? What are eye bangs? My heart. 동물 농장 등장. 저기요, 너무 하신 거 아니에요? 깜짝이야, 나 동물 농장 든 줄. Oh my goodness. Oh. Hello, sir. Oh. Hello, sir. <laughs> Can you hear me, Jay? I can. You sound very clear today. Yeah, I put on my earphones. <laughs> oh, okay. Sorry, did I bother you last time? I felt really bad. I called you no. and you were like, bye. <laughs> no, I, I, no I, I have to explain myself. I, okay. I, I, I only did that once. So I wasn't like sure what was happening. <laughs> oh, okay, okay. So I said, okay, uh, oh, am I on air? Oh, oh all right, okay, okay. I, so it's like, <laughs> no, uh, I have I'm to so apologize. I'm so sorry. No, no, I felt, I felt no. so bad because I felt like I kind of like surprise attacked you like out of nowhere. No, no, no. I, <laughs> actually, actually, my wife said, what did you do? Why did you hang up? I think he wanted to talk to you some more. I said, yeah, I know, but I, I didn't know how to. Anyway, forget about, <laughs> forget about it. It's okay. So I, that's why I said, Let's go live one time. So you yeah. came from work? Yeah, I just came back from the studio. But um, talking about what you were talking about, I really did want to talk to you a little bit. Because after we started oh. interacting like on Twitter and stuff, right. I did my research. And right. I realized that you're someone who's been in the music industry for like 35 years, right? <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah. Like, I mean, there, there's got to be some wisdom time. there. Oh, thank you. Thank you for saying that. It's, it's a... I'm I'm happy that I'm still active, you know. Um, so yes, thirty-five years, and um, boy, it's been a journey. I'm I, you know, I I've been stalking you too. So <laughs> <laughs> I have been. I've seen I've seen your videos. I'm not sure what what mall that was. You were in a mall and you were interviewing. You know, just some passersby and oh, my YouTube I, channel. Oh, is that your YouTube channel? <laughs> okay, my YouTube so, channel. so um, was that in the states or that was in the states? Right. I thought it was great. I, great. How you? When was that? Was that, was that a long time ago? <laughs> that was, I think, like three years ago. That's such a random video. Why that one? I, I don't <laughs> know. I'm sorry. One? I'm sorry. I just, it, 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 I don't know. It showed up. So, okay. you know. Put out your name, and I said, "Okay, I'm gonna watch this." So, <laughs> random Thank you for video. the support. 
appreciate no, that. No, no, no. I, I, I have to say thank you because um, I didn't, you, um, did you retweet our teaser or something? I did. Yes. I did, I did. And then you messaged me and you said that you, you, you liked it. Yeah, so, it's a beautiful song, by the way. Thank you. Thank. Oh, you heard? Have you have you heard the whole thing? I I heard it as soon as it came out. As wow. soon as the picture dropped. Hey, I already, appreciate I that. The artwork that was gonna be a beautiful song, and yeah, it's a oh. Christian song. So. Yeah. Wow. Hey, appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you. Of course. Um. And, you know, I don't really write in English. Um. Uh. I always write in Tagalog, which is our language. Right. So um, this is probably like, maybe the, I don't know, I, I can count my fingers, probably the fourth time that I wrote in English. So, but um, oh, really? when, 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 yeah, no, when, but when the song um, like flowed through me, um, um, it, it was in English. So I, I, I just asked my friend Moira, I said, do you want to collab with me? And then she gladly agreed and, and then the, the, the lockdown happened. Right. So we couldn't record it. So when the vi video comes out, I'm, I'm like shooting here in my house and Moira mm. is shooting in, in Los Angeles because she was touring at the time. So oh. yeah, it's gonna, it's, gonna, it's gonna come out um, Monday. But thank you, thank you for appreciating okay. that. Um, yeah. I love your I love your voice, man. I like how you oh. you go like falsetto and just it's a really good range. Thank you. Oh my god, you're a legend. No. You're you're, you're a vocal legend. I'm just old. <laughs> <laughs> but thank sir, you. I need your wisdom, sir. I I've been wanting to talk to you because Oh, sure. Like we were saying, um yeah. You've been in the industry for a long time, and there must have been things that changed, things, uh, the lessons that you've learned that I haven't learned yet. So I'm trying to not make mistakes. Well, the thing is, Jay, you gotta, you gotta make some mistakes. You know, I can't just I... learn from your mistakes. <laughs> <laughs> you can, you can. But you know how what the, you know how what they say about like. Just taking a leap, and just mm. and just jumping. You, you can't you can't be afraid to do things. I don't I don't know if I'm I'm helping you with that. So mm. sometimes sometimes you gotta do something some things that you feel like it feels right for you uh, mm. instinctively, and then you just go for it and don't don't let success be a measure stick a measuring stick i think it should be all right it's a stepping stone from one point to another mm. i don't know if that makes sense to you um no it does you know because you got you have to make those mistakes to learn but having said that it is right. wise to, to to be cautious it is wise to um, to just not get into everything. If, if mm -hmm. I mean, if I'm going to tell you, I look. I don't know if you read. What did you read? Wikipedia. I don't know what you read. <laughs> I read Wikipedia. I saw songs. I saw you sing live. I've seen a lot of things. Really? Wow. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's embarrassing. I've seen a lot of things. <laughs> well, my wife's the better singer, um, but. Uh, <laughs> um, my 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 wife's name's Regine, and she's called the Songbird. Um, you should you should watch her. I definitely will. You should, buddy. Her name's Regine Velasquez Alcaraz. Watch her, and you will get blown away. Oh, she must be amazing. Yeah, I'm the number. I'm a number one fan. And actually, <laughs> actually, I showed her. I showed her your stuff, and and she's like, wow. You're friends with this guy? So yeah, we're friends. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, was it the music stuff or was it the was it the stupid stuff? No, no, no. It was, it was your music video. Um, oh, thank you, thank you. It was. <laughs> there were some some videos I saw where you were 
I don't know if you were rehearsing, but you were, you were in in, in rehearsing. I know you're uh, in the studio and you were on guitar and. Um, oh, yeah, that was really good. Anyway, I think so, that was my band. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You were with your band. Your band is fantastic. I, I you are, you guys are great. Thank you. Appreciate and, that. You know, I didn't even know you came here. Yeah, we did. How many times have you been here? Uh, we've been there one time for a show, I believe, during our second world tour. Oh wow! Yeah, it was yeah. it was nuts. Uh, I'm sure it was. Your fans here are they love you guys, and um, actually, I just want to shout out to those guys because they've been so kind to me. Um, uh, you know, I've been I've only been to Seoul once. Ah. And that was for a shoot. We were shooting for because I was part of a sitcom on on our on our network, and um, I think it was December. December. And it was so cold. It was freezing. It is really cold. What show was it? it? Um, it on ABS. Um, yes. Oh my goodness! I can't even remember the name of the show. <laughs> <laughs> it's all right. We have so many. We have so many. It's all right. <laughs> yeah. Um, wait. No, I don't remember it. Uh, wait, wait. What's the name of the show? Honey. Oh, goodness. I was there for like a season. Mm. I played a girl and, and a boy. Because I did comedy for, for so many years, bro. bro. Uh, so many years. So I did. Have you done films? I haven't. I don't think I'm really an acting specialist. Right. Well, you have to like it. I I definitely like films. Yeah. My uh my company tried to teach me acting, and then um I think it was after my sixth lesson day they took me into the office and he said Jay, uh we think you can do better things with music in your time, and I was like gotcha. <laughs> Uh, well, I think they just want you to to do music first. That's all. No, I, agree That's with, all. I can't act to save my life. Well, you'll never know, man. Yeah, ha- I mean, if you really want to do it, if the desire's there, I mean, because you know what? When, when I started here in, uh, in in my career, that was like 1988. Oh my gosh! Oh my goodness! Long, that was a long time ago. So 1988, we. At that during that time, we did everything. We did acting. We did movies. We did TV. We did um, mm. just absolutely everything. All right. So, um, and that's why I was able to do everything. You know, I, I was even a game show host. I was just doing everything. Wow. So it's not like now when, which is good actually. If you, if I if you ask mm. me, because right now. Like if you're a musician, then you you just focus on being a musician, right? Um, um if you want to sort of yeah do a little bit of acting, a little bit of this, it would be great. It would be good for your soul, good 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 for your artistic soul. Mm. But but you'll always be a musician, you know, um, right? And 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 your deep focus on that would be beneficial to you. Um. I don't know what you really want to ask me about. Is it about your career? I mean, you guys are doing so great. <laughs> um, if I've ever learned anything in my life is that I've made so many mistakes that yeah. by listening to other people's regrets or things that they wish they had known when they were younger, there's a lot yeah. to learn there. And we can avoid mistakes and make right. better choices by learning from other people. I appreciate so, Yeah. Uh, yeah. Go ahead. Sorry. Oh no, it's okay. I mean, I was I was just curious about everything in general. Like, how how did you get it started in the entertainment business? Was your family okay with it? Yeah. Like, how does that work? Okay, okay. I I was part of a high school group in 1985 mm. uh, of our school, and um, most of the guys that came from that group just automatically became professional singers straight away. The group really? was, Yeah, the group was called Kondirana. And um, 
it seemed like that was my path. So um, when I was in college, I was working, I was studying and working at the, uh, the same time. Um, oh. And but my, I started out with a band. With a band? band. Well, yeah, um, a quartet, and then we had a band. Oh, that's something. cool. Okay. Yeah, we were singing. We were singing a lot of jazz stuff. You won't, you won't believe this, but I, I was a jazz singer. <laughs> oh, that's 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 so cool. I like that. Yeah, yeah I, I love jazz. Yeah, if you look at my, my vinyls, like most oh of them, are, most of them are jazz. This is this. I'm in the living room. This is all of my vinyls. <laughs> I'll, I'll show you one of my vinyls. Like this is like nineteen. This is this is me. 1990. 1990. That's, that's me. Can you see it? <laughs> you look yeah. exactly the same. Oh, right no. There. I can't see it. Can, can you see it? Oh, I can, I can. Yeah, that's me. That's so yeah. cool. And this You're is really my... Young for your age, by the way. Well, thank you. We, um... We just try <laughs> to... We try to laugh a lot. That's <laughs> Yeah, so, you know, from there... I um, I, the group thing didn't work out for me. We, we kind of disbanded straight away, and and I just decided, okay, I guess going solo should be my next thing. And but you know, I'm really short. I'm like five feet four. Ah, uh. you know, I'm I'm really short. And during that time, it was just unheard of oh. to have to have a singer that small. Wait, why? I don't know. It it was just the, the times. Everybody was tall. Interesting. <laughs> okay. Everybody, Everybody was, was tall. just tall. And then there were two guys who, who were probably my height. His name's Jano. And then his, mm. the other name, uh, the, uh, my other friend is Ding Dong. And then they just became so popular and said, hmm. And they were short, like me. So I said, All right. okay, okay, maybe I can do this. <laughs> Interesting. Yeah. So, you know, I went, I dove in and I just started doing gigs in a nightclub. Every mm. Monday, I was getting paid 800 pesos. I don't know how much that is in Korean won, but that mm. was, that's very small. So I was doing that every Monday for maybe a, a year. And then someone saw me. Mm. And he was the head of Viva Records and said, would you want to cut a record? I said, let's do it. So that's that record right wow. there. Joined another recording company, Octo Arts, 1980, oh, 1990. So that was, the, that was the start of everything. But you know, back then, I'm sorry I'm talking too much, but back then. No, no, no. Yeah, go for it. You know, we didn't have digital recordings. Everything was analog. So we would bring, I would bring all of my, can you hear my dogs? <laughs> yeah, I can. I think they want to say hi. <laughs> yeah, I think they do. I had to bring all my gear to the studio. And then we had, do you know what MIDI is? MIDI? Yeah. No. No. Okay. MIDI is how synthesizers, drum machines, sound modules. You know what a, you know what a sound oh, module Oh, you mean like is? a MIDI keyboard? Yeah, MIDI, MIDI keyboard. Oh, yeah. got you, got you. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. all of these instruments, keyboards, sound modules, drum machines, and all of that, they would communicate e to, each, e to each other through MIDI cables. Right, right. Right? And um, so since back then it was all analog, you'd have to like send a like uh, it's like a sync signal it's like a high pitch you know that that thing has to be recorded <laughs> yeah it's so weird that had to be recorded an, uh, through uh, through analog tape and then right. it'll play it back and then your your sequencer do you still use sequencers uh you mean like cubase logic yeah yeah tools? back in the day we used to call them sequencers it's like an right. extra hardware and then it'll be a slave, and then it'll drive the entire thing. But oh. since 
and then you had to like do it one by one. So for example, uh, first the kick, then the snare, and then the hi hat. You could do it simultaneously. And right. you know, during those days, I would think, wow, can you imagine? What if everything was in the computer, like the strings, the piano? I was like thinking about it during that time. What if everything was in the computer? That means it's so much easier. Wow. And now, you know. It's so easy. <laughs> it, it's so easy. And, you know, you guys are, um, I mean, I guess it's just time, so obviously, but we, I had to spend like for an entire song, maybe two to three days in the studio just for one song. Wow. Be be because, I mean, it depends if you wanted to, like even EQing a, a drum kit, Mm. so many hours wow yeah it's i heard like... about the i heard about the vocal production too back in the days when uh you used to have to cut like it was like almost like a movie reel yeah and then you would and then the <laughs> way you would edit it is you cut it right that's you insane, cut it this, you, you cut it this way that's, that's insane like a, yeah you um you splice it. That's what we used to call it. <laughs> splice it. Yeah. Splice something completely different today, but it's right. crazy because that tells me that there was no pitch correction. There no. was no rhythm tuning. Oh, buddy, no. No. We didn't yeah. even know what that meant. Yeah. So, you know, um, so we had to do all of that. And... Um, and when we would bring, like when we would go, when we would go on the TV, the TV stations, we would mm. bring what we called an open reel. Mm. That's like a, it's like a huge tape. And then we'd oh. give that to the, to the spinner and then, then play it. And that's how we'd, we'd sing. We'd sing on our playback. Oh, it's interesting. So, you know, you'd bring, you'd bring your U-matic, oh, sorry, not U-matic, you'd bring your, um, your um, uh, open reels, and then and then we had when well, it slowly transferred to digital. I don't know if you remember if you've ever heard of DAT. I haven't. Okay, DAT is it's called digital audio tape, mm. and those were the first. I mean, I guess before the CDs came. Oh, is that the cassette? It, it's uh, it. The cassettes were analog. Uh, it's like a cassette. It's like a cassette, but it's but digital. It's Interesting. So those were the ones that we brought to the studio because then you know the sound was better and all of that. All and right. um, and then when we'd go around radio stations, we'd bring our 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 singles, which were forty fives. You know the forty fives. Are these those are, Yeah, the, those are the smaller. Um, records and that's what we'd bring and then we'd give it to the dj and they said could you just play the song oh yeah, that's what we used to do and um that's unlike nowadays you just you can send your song through email <laughs> yeah it's a, it's a dropbox yeah but I, I, but i have to say i mean because of streaming and all of the technology and just all of mm. the platforms there's so much music being produced, which is fantastic. You know, in an instant, you know, you have access to so much music from around the world. Right. Which, which you know, which, was, which just never happened before. So, you know, if you look at it from that point of view, I think it's, it's great. You know? Yeah, we have all these international artists these days being recognized and people mm. are able to access their music more easily due to the fact mm. that it's open to the public. It's more, yeah. more yeah. available. I yeah. think that's great. And all, but I honestly, I love this age, but I have so much respect, especially for singers from, from your kind of background who have been in the industry for so long because my CEO, his name is GYP. He, oh, is that him? That's him. <laughs> that's my okay. CEO. And I'm at his company. And I've also heard from him about those days when you would go into the booth and you would have to sing it perfectly or else you're wasting tape. That's right. So if you weren't really, really talented, there was no way. How old's JYP? JYP is, I don't know. Yeah, I'm probably check. older. 
But um, yeah. I think he's in his mid forties. Oh well, there you go. <laughs> that makes me a little respect. Respect, man. I mean, because I I also manage uh, talent, so you know, um, I I have two, uh, actually three. One is my daughter. She's she's also she's she's part of Eighty Eight Rising. Actually, her name's Leila. Eighty Eight Paradise. I've heard a song. Oh no, her yeah, parad. You've heard her song. Yeah. Although really she's got a week ago, I think. Oh, no, she's got a new one called Clouds. Wait, is that the one with, that I with... heard? Paradise is a bit old. I think that's last year. Oh, really? Yeah, so her new one with 88, 88 Rising wow. is called Clouds. Anyway, that's Clouds. my daughter. That's my daughter. Mm. And then um, another guy, is, his name's Davey Langit. He's an acoustic artist. And, Really wonderful, fantastic guitar player, musician, singer, songwriter. And then got another girl. Her name's Lara Maiga. She's a soprano. She's an opera singer. And mm. She also writes a lot of music. So, you know, um, we're helping all of these young musicians reach their dreams. And right. Yeah. So I guess uh, in a way, I'm like your JYP. <laughs> but of course, your JYP has done a lot of good things for you guys and that's great so who else is with with jyp um we have artists we have twice we have straight wow kids. my son would go nuts twice <laughs> is with you they're really popular yeah yeah they're really popular talented but i mean you must have some amazing artists too like how do you how do you pick artists that you want to manage or you want to sign that's a good question. For me, it's more of when I hear their music. Um, uh. I don't necessarily look into packaging and all of that. Because right. I've never been like that. Um, I, I get more intrigued by what people write. You know, and what's behind their their brains and in their hearts. I I know that sounds corny, but no, but no, that's no. Just, but that's just the way. <laughs> so, so you mean lyrical message or like ability? Everything, everything. Uh. Um, just just the combination of how you write, how you you don't have to be a virtuoso, but yeah, you know, I I feel like. Like guitar playing and piano playing, it's so, especially as a singer songwriter, it's, it's very, very individualistic. You know, you can't, mm -hmm. you, it, there's just a way you play music. There's a way you strum your guitar, you do your solos. It's, it's, you know what I mean? Of yeah. course, you can, you, can, you can probably do the most famous solos of all time and, and do that. But when it comes to playing your own music, it, that's you. That's just you. And no one's going to say, no, you're not playing that right. You can't say that because that's you. That was part of you, which you've harnessed through the years. And, you know, that's why I don't know if you've experienced this. When, when someone else plays your music, it's, it just feels different for you. It is. It's always a different experience. You know, but, but then you appreciate, okay, that's a, I like your take on that. Or, or, of course, it can be bad, but... <laughs> <laughs> But um, uh, I, I I also appreciate um like what some people do with my music and and at the same time, I guess how we will also interpret other people's music, right? Um, you know that's just your own take. That's just how you feel about it. So, um, are you do you like sports? I do love sports. Really? What do you what do you what do you play? What do you um, watch? I play badminton. Oh. I played a little bit of basketball. I'm okay. Not good, though. But I, right. I used to like watching basketball a lot, and then I moved to Korea, and then nobody really watches basketball here. Okay. I since I've been stalking you, I know you were you're from Culver City. I'm from Cerritos. Oh, Cerritos. Who? Wait. Who's you got from... to see though. You got to see that. All right. Who's Half from Culver? So you're from California, SoCal, LA. yeah. You're yes. from LA, so you must be with the Lakers. 
Uh, oh no! Don't tell me you're with the Clippers. Uh, no, I don't know if I want to say. I think I think my hometown's gonna hate me. That's uh, all right. My favorite player growing up was Ray Allen. Well, there's nothing wrong with that. So I was a Celtics fan for a while. <laughs> no, I understand that. Yeah, and I, you remember I when the, the Lakers, the Celtics, were in the finals? That's right. The, the that Lakers Celtics, lost. Uh, yeah, that was a bad time for me. I mean, um. I couldn't be open no. about my, uh, right, my support. Right. Yeah, yeah, but uh, I can I understand that now because of well, I I did when Lonzo Ball was still in the Lakers. Yeah, he, yeah, but the thing is, they had to trade, you know, Lonzo and Brandon Ingram and yeah, they trade the remember. whole team, right? Yeah, for AD. Um, I think it kind of worked for worked it worked out for them. Um, yeah, it definitely worked out for both sides. Plus, the Pelicans got a they got Zion, Zion. Too, so. Oh my God! What do you think about him? <sighs> Honestly, uh, I think I think he's very. I don't think it's normal. I think he just, <laughs> what he does. What he does is just. I mean, he just, he's, the amount of torque he generates from jumping like that. But at the same time, I feel like this guy's going to injure himself. I don't know. I'm... Oh, are you scared of another Derrick Rose situation? That's exactly what I'm, what I'm saying because. Uh, I see. You know what I mean? I, I don't know if yeah. you've seen him play. It's, I, I'm no expert. Uh, neither am I a great player, but I'm a fan. Right, I'm same. a huge fan. So when I when I watch him, like oh, this guy's incredible. But and if you look at the history of of um, how, like he got injured injured in college, and then upon entering when he became a professional, he got injured straight away. Right, and then he I think he got injured again. So and so they're like he's like they're not playing him. For long, I think he only had to play like 13 minutes in the bubble. Have you been watching the bubble? I haven't. But I know that he's only played 20-something games, and that's that's why they couldn't give him MVP or something like that. Or they're oh, yeah. assuming yeah. they're not going to give him Rookie of the Year. Right, but right. But I, I don't know. I don't I don't really watch John Morant or those other people, but I feel like after having seen Zion, <sighs> like ever since high school, I just feel like he kind of just deserves it. I don't know. He, do, he does. He, he's, I don't he's, know. Yeah. But but Ja Morant is man. He's he's, he's a bucket. He's a bucket. Uh, <laughs> yeah, man. Yeah. He can play. He can play. I think he's gonna win Rookie of the Year. He should. There's Ask there's me. who's the other runner up? I remember there was one more. Hmm. I don't know. I, I only know Ja and Zion. Uh, I forgot the name. I'll bring it back up if I remember it. I was watching a commentary about it with NBA commentators, and they were talking about how they would have probably given to Zion, but he only played so many games, so you can't really play yeah. someone who hasn't played. That's true. Yeah. Uh, yeah, but the thing is, I think the reason why they're thinking of giving it to him is because even with those few games, his stats are, like, <sighs> incredible. It's insane. He both, he's a, how old is he, like, 19? Yeah. He's a 19 or like something be, before 20. He's an under 20 year old bullying straight yeah. up adults. Yeah, and he, he, he makes his team, you know, play better when he's on the team. I think when he's playing, um, I, I think he's like plus, I don't know, 100 something. I'm not, in, I'm not really into metrics, but, right. you know, he, um, he's, he's up there. Mm. I think next year the Pelicans will be really a good team. But I don't know. I don't know if you've heard mm. of um, the Brooklyn Nets. Um, yeah, Levert, um, Dinwiddie. Mm. That team is incredible. And this year they made it to the playoffs even without Kyrie and and, and Kevin. That's insane. <laughs> yeah. Wait, where did Harry and Kevin go? They're both injured. They're like, yeah. Kevin Love? Are we talking about Kevin Love? No, Kevin Durant. Kev- 
Wait, Kevin Durant's in the Brooklyn Nets? Yes. With Kyrie? That's kind of a broken team. Sorry, I haven't been keeping up with the NBA. No, that's all right. Crazy. This is what happened. Um, Kevin left the Golden State Warriors. Right. Took his time to, you know, uh, people were thinking that they that he'd go to New York. Mm. Um, but no, so he went to the other place near New York, which is Brooklyn. Brooklyn Nets. <laughs> <laughs> and then um, uh, Kyrie joined him. Apparently, they're buddies. So, wow, that's gonna be a good team. That's gonna. That's be crazy. Good. Is D'Angelo Russell still on the Nets? No. Goodness me, have you been sleeping under a rock? I really don't watch the NBA at all anymore. No, he's <laughs> he's he's with the Warriors now. He's with the Warriors. Yes. Is Steph Curry still on the Warriors? Yes, he is. But he's he's been injured, uh, recovering, yeah. and so was uh, Clay, Clay Thompson. You play oh, golf? Clay Thompson's still there. I don't play golf. A lot of my friends do though. You should take it up. I mean, you're you're pretty tall. You'll have bro. You'll have a. What's your <laughs> what, what's your? Are you six feet? I'm six feet flat. Ah, uh, there's so many good Korean players. So many for golf. Yeah. Do you know we have a lot of Koreans here in the Philippines? Oh, really? Like so many. Oh, um, that's interesting. Like Korean they, Koreans or like Korean Americans or? No, no, no. Uh, Koreans from South Korea. Oh, it's interesting. And and they, I think most of a lot of them are in Cebu. That's in south in the south, and I may mm. be wrong. I may be wrong, but there's mm. so many of them here. Yeah, and they've become very Filipino. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh man, I used to live I, in LA, and I used to always be jealous of my Filipino friends because the the stigma was that you guys are good at singing, you yeah. guys are good at dancing, and you guys are good at the arts, right? And that oh. was true with all my Filipino friends. So I oh, always really? kind of watched Filipino when I was younger. And Filipinos were the cool kids too at school. So, oh really? That's yeah, interesting. they had all like the the nice clothes and like I don't know. They just they just had a, a certain presence about them. Oh, that's cool. That's probably <laughs> why you have a lot. It's probably why you have a lot of fans here. I appreciate that. I appreciate yeah. that culture. Yeah. Hey, you know what I had today for lunch? I had, I had this fish. It's a Korean fish. Korean fish. I can't. I can't. Oh, I can't. It starts with G. G. Yeah. Maybe. Oh, I, we just fried it. <laughs> <laughs> and then I ordered. I ordered um, the, the seaweed Korean seaweed um, season, and then I put kimchi, and then put. Um, oh. Uh, rice and just rolled it. It was great. Beautiful, beautiful. It was great. Uber was great. Eats? Sorry, Uber Eats. No, no. Uh, I ordered the. F we don't have Uber Eats here, by the way. <gasps> we have something else. We call it okay. Grab. We call it Grab. <laughs> it's called Grab. <laughs> yeah, it's it's the equivalent of Uber. We used to have Uber here, but I don't know what happened. What so. Happened? Oh, so man. with grab, I ordered the seaweed, right, right. But the fish um, that was delivered to us, and yeah, we had that for lunch. It was, it was, it was yummy. They deliver you raw fish. Yeah, they can. It's like a market. Yeah, you can. Okay, we have that. I want to just order raw fish. Well, we've been on lockdown, you know, we, again. Um, mm -hmm. So we really, you really need to order online for most, for mostly everything here. Right. Yeah. I think, I think that's a smart choice though, because um, I don't know if you've heard, but Americans are about to go back to school next week. Yeah. yeah. And I'm really, really, really concerned. Yeah. I, I can understand that. Do you have family back in the States? Uh, my sister lives in the States and she's a teacher. Therefore, I am more concerned because I'm directly involved. That's right. Um, I, I mean, can understand that. With 
with the world in its current situation, I feel like being at home and staying at home is not just for you, but for everyone else. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But they're going back to school, and I'm I'm super concerned. Not gonna lie. I, yeah, I can understand that. I mean, my wife always tells me, "Yes, we need to stay home," um, but right. especially here in the Philippines, not everybody has the luxury of being able mm. to stay home. You can understand that, right? Like people right. really need, need to have to go out and work. And, right. um, and I can understand the concern that you have. As long as your sister, I guess, just really protects herself, you know? Right. And, and of course, prayers. So, of course, prayers. Yeah, it's... Yeah, crazy times, eh? Crazy times. Yeah. I'm also curious too, though, how seeing as you've been in the entertainment industry for so long, and you know, people have speculations about the entertainment industry and how it could be bad for your walk with Christ, right? How how has your faith grown as you've developed as an artist or as a as an as an actor, yeah. as a entertainment individual? That's a great question. <laughs> but you know, a lot of artists um, here in the Philippines are believers. You know, right. um, we have a very strong Christian community. A lot of us are Catholics. A lot of us are born again Christians, Protestants, and, and and Baptists, and all of that. So there is a very strong uh, sense of Christianity. Mm. Now, now, having said that, when you get into the business, because of pressure and because of all of that, there's really nothing else you can hold on to, except your faith. Right, and um, I have to say that it's grown exponentially because of, of um, I guess, you know how when you're put in a position by God because of your platform and because you have a reach, you know, you're able to. And I'm I'm so happy that you so declare that you are Christian because. Mm. That means a lot to people. A lot, a lot of people right now really need inspiration. And that's specifically why I wrote Beautiful. And I intend to write more, you know, songs that are like that. Because mm. people need to be inspired and people need answers, you know. And we're not going to be able to provide answers with just nothing, with not you know, providing the truth. Right. And, and, and that's why, I don't know what, if I sent you made any sense. I was just right. like, you know, when I, when I sent, have you heard the music I sent you? I have, I have. Yeah, so, you know, that was just like me rambling and, and just thinking, okay, maybe someone is feeling like this. Mm. And, and I was just thinking, okay, maybe I'll be, be able to help that person feel like, okay, I can get into that situation too. You know, right. uh, like when I said I need fixing, I need to be fixed because I'm, I'm really a work in progress. You know, yeah, um, exactly. I, I don't know if that sounds weird, but no, that's that's actually really interesting. You bring that up because that's something that I say all the time. Um, I don't consider myself the best version of a Christian. Mm. I, you know, so, I'm, I'm human. Oh, yep, Everyone makes mistakes. Yep. 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 But uh, yep. I feel like, I feel like everybody's right to know about the truth outweighs, right. outweighs the right that I have to say it. If that makes sense. Yep. Yep. No, I'm, 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 I'm right there with you. And right. um, it is, um, but, you know, just openly declaring that you, okay, I, I've got faith in Christ. And no one can ever declare that they're perfect. No one. Absolutely no yeah. one. So for us to say, because we, we have all fallen short, you know, of the, glory of, of, God. of the glory of God. Amen to that. And so for you to say, okay, I'm right there. Yeah, he's my best friend. I'm, I'm like this with him, you know. <laughs> <laughs> but no no we're just 
we're so imperfect. And I think, you know what? Okay, I'll, I'll give you an example. I don't listen to rap music, not because I don't like it. I just don't know it well. Okay, mm. I don't, I'm not, not really, uh, cause growing up, I didn't really listen to it a lot. Okay, mm. so I know a lot of people listen to Kanye. And mm. so I'm like, when I hear his stuff, I'm like, oh, yeah, yeah, sounds good, sounds good. But mm. when I heard his Christian album, yeah, man, that was my workout um, music. Yeah. It, that is incredible. And that for someone, great album. it's a great album. And for someone like him, you know, to just openly declare that means he's been he's been moved by the holy spirit and say okay kanye i need you i need you to do something for me <laughs> isn't that isn't that so interesting that a change can occur a 180 change like that can occur from one album to the next the album before that he was talking about drugs and money and and all these secular things and the next one is strictly christian isn't that amazing? <clears throat> oh. So oh, I, I, gone with the old, you know, I mean, you can change. And of course, as you get older, you're going to realize this as you go, you know, you're going to change, but then at the same time, you're, you're going to go through stages of like, uh, okay, uh, I'm getting tired of this. I'm trying to be good. <laughs> you know, <so. laughs> But you know, when you get to my age, you, there's just no other way. You you you, you have to do the right things, and right. You know, um, I think for a reason God connected me to you because I I had to tell you these things, and you probably had to tell me, uh, you know, op openly mm -hmm. confess that you are a Christian, and then that's I think there is a reason for that. You know, right. Um, a lot of um, your followers will really, really appreciate. That. Actually, the reason why I asked you why you were a Christian because I think one of your fans um, tweeted about it. Um, like you, you guys should write a worship song. I said, oh, oh, okay, mm. yeah. So you know, and then we've been having the conversation ever since. That's right. That's right. We have been having the conversation. That's right. I think it, I think we're gonna write something that I, I'm hoping that we could write something that's meaningful to somebody out there. Why don't you send me? I don't know. It doesn't matter. We'll, we'll, I'll keep sending you once it hits. Yes. Once we hit it. I think I kind of know what you're looking for now. <laughs> <laughs> well, I haven't actually gotten a chance to work on it just because that's I'm a okay. little bit swamped right now. That's with... okay. So am I. That's... In his time, bud. In his time. Right. So, you know what you do? Get mm. on the NBA app. <laughs> yeah. So you can follow that. I really should. But you know, yeah. when I first came to Korea, so you can watch the NBA if you pay like $15 a month or something like that. Online, uh, right? Oh, no, that's too expensive. It was, it was something like that. It was like, it, was, it was like a season pass and you watch online all the games, right? But then ah, when I first yeah. came, I didn't have the money for that. All right. So that's how, how I kind of fell off because NBA was always on TV. I understand. I understand. Yeah, yeah, of course. Of course. All right. Well, once you get a chance, mm. I'm sure, I'm sure you, you have a little bit of money there. So <laughs> <laughs> I can afford the subscription now. There you go. I have Netflix. <laughs> there you go. Yeah. Oh man, are you a really big NBA fan, or like, are you just really into sports? Um, I, I that's the only thing I do: watch NBA. I mean, I, <laughs> a lot of Filipinos are into basketball. We love basketball. Who's your favorite player of all time? Michael Jordan. Michael. Jordan. Oh, it's not LeBron. He's my second best. Interesting. What about Kobe? It's probably my fourth. No. No, he's my third. My third. Who's fourth? I like uh, uh, hmm, Jabbar. Do you know Jabbar? 
There's Jim Doc, Barr. Do you know, do you know Dr. J? Oh yeah, I know Dr. J. There's Dr. J. It's probably number four. Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, number five. He used to play. Yeah, and he used to play with the Lakers. Wow. And of course, and of course, Allen Iverson. I think he's the answer. AI, yeah, he's fantastic. It's always interesting because everybody's top three are usually LeBron, Michael Jordan, and Kobe, and then from the fourth, it becomes interesting. Yeah, um, it can be anyone. It can be Shaq. It can be yeah. Our uh, how come they never say Kevin Durant? I think Kevin Durant is an incredible player. I think he's, Kevin Durant's crazy. He's for sure. oh my goodness. He's, I hope he gets better because he his injury was pretty bad last year. Oh man, it, it was it was pretty bad. Yeah. So in 2012, when I first went to college. Um, I really started watching basketball a lot. And my favorite player after Ray Allen was Derrick Rose. And then he got I, injured. I don't blame you. I was so sad. <laughs> yeah. He's so good now, though. Yeah, he's still good. But it took him, like, some time to recover, right? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, he was just attacking the hope like anything you know so i think from the ground going up 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 there it, it's a bit of a he travels a lot <laughs> travels a lot <laughs> we're not talking about james harden <laughs> no 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 so i don't know i think on his way up there he gets hurt a lot so but he's he was really good i mean he was mvp for a year wasn't he i mean yeah he was the youngest mvp Mm, he beat LeBron. Yeah. But, I don't know. I just thought it was really unfortunate that he was yeah. on a such a steady climb up and then it had to, like, just stop for a little bit. Yeah, you know? I think he also had a lot, lot of personal problems. I mean, mm. I, I don't know. I don't know. I just hear, you know. Yeah. What, what's more. family like for you? So, um... Our folks. Oh, what I'm, what's my family like? I have a sister. Yeah. I have two parents. Um, mm -hmm. Originally when I was younger. So I, I came to Korea um, from LA when I was 20. In Korean age, eight, 18, 19 in American age. And I came over with the thought that, you know, um, I'm going to try to do music. It's for fun. I was just on like this television program and I assumed I'd be coming back at the end of like a couple months. Yeah. But one day I closed my eyes, I opened them, I was in Seoul, I closed them again. And then the next I was signed under JYP. And that is my life in a conch shell. Wow, <laughs> wow, yeah, well, well. And how old, how old are you? Currently, yeah. I'm 27 in American age and I'm 29 in Korean age. And did you have to do military? Um... Training? Oh, not yet. Not yet. Like, at, at what age do you have to do that? Um, I'm not exactly sure. Right. Yeah. Ah, uh, well. You know. When's your next gig? Um, you don't know. Everyone's kind of. Uh, everyone is kind of put on pause right now because right. of the whole situation yeah. with the world Understandably so. yeah. um, I feel like everybody yeah has literally been put on pause but I've seen recently on on Twitter and social media that concerts have been like being opened yeah and in, um, in Europe also and then, uh, yeah and there's like three seats and then there's a there's like units of seats that you can sit in and that's yes. so interesting I wonder if that's the future of concerts in the world maybe um, have you guys been doing online stuff like Online concerts? We actually haven't uh, because we've had some internal problems and uh, some of our members, including me, have been having some uh, anxiety issues. I can understand that. I'm also that. dealing with that as well. Right. Uh, I'll, I'll pray for you guys. Hope you, hopefully you guys get over that hump. But you could probably do that when, when, when things get better, you know? Yeah. Uh, but hopefully everyone could get back on the ball and just be able to 
Yeah. Yeah, just perform and go around and because everyone misses their fans, I think. I have a lot of for friends sure. that are artists in Korea. Oh, for sure. For sure. Yeah. Yeah. Well, next time you're here in the Philippines, I'll, I'll see you guys. <laughs> I'm going to hold you on that. <laughs> I'm going to hold you on that. Yeah, yeah, of course. Of course. Hopefully you stay a little longer so we can, you know, show you around. And... That'd be great. I really wish yeah. I could. But you're going to come to the concert for sure? Of course. Oh, can I see everybody you back? heard it. Can I see you backstage? Of course. <laughs> of course, of I'll course. see you. I'll see you. I'll see you. Yeah. Let me 8, know when. 8,500 people are witness to Sir Ogi coming to the Day 6 concert. Yep. I'll be there. Okay. I, I actually saw, because I followed one of your fans, your, your groups. Um, I think they call themselves PH My Days. Am I correct? Oh, yeah. Our yeah, so I, yeah, so I yeah, so I went there and I saw a picture of you guys. Was that in Araneta or Mall of um, the Arena? The arena. I think it was an arena. I'm not exactly sure, okay, but it was so, huge. It yeah, was it was the biggest huge. Show that Day Six has ever had. Ah, uh, it was. Oh, they love you. So I said, "Oh, I missed this. I missed this concert." So I. I <laughs> Yeah, so hopefully soon, maybe next year, you know. Hopefully, we're hoping. I think we just got to keep everyone in our prayers and just hope for the best. And hopefully by next year, the world could have this problem solved and we can all yeah. go back to. Yeah. That's, uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. What are you doing tomorrow? Tomorrow, probably studio time again. Things out for... uh a campaign that I'm about to run. Yeah. Um, well, good. That's okay. also going to be for mental health awareness. But I'm trying to figure out some details right now. It's been a little bit of a hassle. I've, I've, I've had a lot of things on my plate for the past month. <laughs> that's not so bad, you know. <laughs> it's not. It's not. It's Having work not. always feels good. Yeah. Except when you see your friends online playing games while you're in the studio. And then you okay. hate them. <laughs> <laughs> Are you a gamer? You play. I love video games. Okay, and and is that um, PS4 or um, what do you play? Um, I actually am not a console gamer. I play on the, my computer. Right. Do so you have that seat? Do you have that chair I don't. thing? I don't. Do you know this seat? This one right here. Uh, that's not the one I was referring to, but you're talking about the racing chair, right? Yeah, I, I yeah. think a, a lot of gamers have that. I've noticed, and uh... I I tried that for a while, and my back got messed up. So this this chair you see is one of the biggest investments of my life, <laughs> and oh. it fixed my back. <laughs> oh, good for you, good for you. <laughs> yeah. Oh, what what's yeah. the brand of that chair? Uh, Herman Miller. I think I, I have think. that chair. <laughs> you probably do. I think I have like, chair. Anyway. Yeah. Yeah. I'm sorry. Yeah, I, I feel like I took so much of your time. <laughs> no, like no, 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 no. Now with this random live that I called you in. <laughs> no. Oh, don't, don't be. Don't be. I appreciate your friendship, bro. And, um, you know, you're 27. Now I'm 53. This, when is your birthday? Uh, September 15th. So you're Virgo. I am a Virgo. Are you into I'm... astrology? Well, I was. Uh... Not not really, but I'm Virgo. All right. I'm also, Virgo. we're Virgo brothers. That's right. We're Virgo brothers. <laughs> that that can be our label. Virgo brothers. Virgo brothers. Yeah. Virgo brothers from now on. Got you. Yeah. But anyway, I don't want to I don't want to take too much time. All right, bud. No. Yeah, I feel it. bad already. I'm so sorry. No, <laughs> this is no, so no, random. no, no. That's okay, man. <laughs> Just let me know anytime you want to be on. And I mean, I, I also message you because I'm interested to know what you're going to do with the song. But like, take your time. Yeah. And, mm. and uh, if there's anything you want me to pray to, uh, for you about, just let me know. Okay. I appreciate that. Thank you. Um, yeah. Can you give me a little bit of time on the songs? Because of course. I'm currently in the middle of a couple projects. Yep. But I will Take, definitely get to it as soon as possible. Of course, of course, of course. Take your time. Let, 
Let's do it. <laughs> Let's do it, man. Let's do it. Go, go Lakers and Celtics. Go <laughs> <laughs> I appreciate you being on my stream. Thank you, sir. All right, bro. Take care. Take it easy. Okay. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Yo, I feel so bad. I feel like I took, like, I don't know how long that was, but I was just literally, I wasn't even, I'm sorry, I wasn't even paying attention to chat. I was just looking and asking him questions of what I was curious about. And then... <laughs> That was the most random conversation ever. But thank you so much, Sir Ogi, for accepting my invitation and just being cool. He's so he's so down to earth. Like I was we we're literally talking about everything. I kinda like that conversation.